If you're a new channel struggling with how to keyword research in 2019, then you'll wanna stay tuned because in this video, I give you the exact keyword research tips I use from my own channels as well as dozens of other channels that I've helped along the way. Hey creators, I'm Ron Lyons, founder of Creators Accelerate, bringing you the latest tips and strategies that I've discovered in my journey as a creator and has helped dozens of channels accelerate their message. We're on this YouTube journey together, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get alerted about new content weekly so you too can experience what it's like to accelerate your channel. So let's dive into today's video. So you're wondering how to keyword research in 2019? YouTube is more competitive than ever before with more than a billion users globally, which is about one third of the global population that has internet access. As more and more channels are born, the days of just putting up content on a whim are long gone. But never fear, I'm about to show you the keyword research tips that I use to find targeted keywords for my channels and that I've used to help dozens of channels do the same. I gave you the tools that you need to find the keywords in this video titled how to rank your videos on YouTube. So you can get the link to that right up here or by going down to the show notes below. In case you miss that video, there are three tools that you need when doing keyword research for YouTube. That is Keywords Everywhere, TubeBuddy, and YouTube Search Predict. Now, there are other tools, but in this video, I wanted to show you how to do this completely free. So first, make sure you have downloaded TubeBuddy and Keywords Everywhere. Both of those links are down below, so you can go directly to them and get them downloaded. It only takes a few minutes. The YouTube Search Predict tool comes already activated on YouTube by default, so no need to worry about downloading anything for that. I'm gonna hop on a screen share on my computer to show you the exact process I use with all of these free tools to find the keywords that have helped dozens of channels rank their videos. Okay, so here we are in my computer and this is one of my videos called Save Money Going Green, Best Eco-Friendly Products Ideas that I showed you in one of the examples of my videos ranking. And so I'm gonna show you how we use those three tools to come up with the right keywords. So we talked about TubeBuddy and you can see that installed right here. It's also an extension up here in the top and it's here in the top of YouTube. And when you click on it, it opens up this menu and we're gonna be using the Keyword Explorer under Extension Tools. We're also gonna be using the function here when you open up a video, it shows this information here and I'll show you how to use that as well. And then Keywords Everywhere is an extension. Once you've installed it, it'll show up here with your extensions. And when you click on it, you can see here uh, some settings. Uh, you wanna go ahead and set it to global and do Keywords Everywhere on so that that's going. And then the last one is the YouTube Search Predict, which of course doesn't require any download. It's already there for you. And you can see here when you start typing in, so we're gonna say save money going green. So when we type that in, we can see here that we have a search volume of 50. That number, this number right here is coming from keywords everywhere. And so the reason why that's important is because this is how many people are searching every month for this particular keyword. If you have the number zero there, then nobody's gonna really find you because that means they're not typing that information in. And so generally speaking, you want a number there. Sometimes you can use keywords that have zero search volume if you wanna help your video show up in recommended videos, um, but that's a strategy that I'll explain in another video. So in this case, Save Money Going Green has a search volume of 50. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and we're gonna go into our TubeBuddy extension tool that I showed you here called Keyword Explorer. And you're simply gonna enter in 
that exact keyword and click on explore. Now what happens is it's gonna show you a couple of scores. The first score is unweighted score and the next is the weighted score. And so in this case, we can see that the unweighted score is 22 and the weighted is 42. What that means, and so it tells you right here where this question mark is, and it says the general score for how good this keyword is to target based on search volume and competition. And so the unweighted score is just based on the recommendation of the competition and the optimization and the search volume that TubeBuddy says that for anybody, regardless of your authority or um, what your search history is, that that is the chance of ranking for this particular keyword. And so typically for newer channels, that means that's the score that you have to look at because you don't have authority, you don't have um, uh, a history of ranking videos. And so you're gonna have to try to compete with all of this information on a lower score. Now, if I click on weighted, this is gonna show based on my history and my um, views on my channel, how well I will be able to rank for this particular keyword. And so in this case, there's a better chance of ranking because I have more views and because I have been ranking my videos. And so you can see that as you grow and add more views, uh, this score gets better. But even in the beginning, you wanna try to find um, keywords that have a higher score for the unweighted score. All right, so now let's take a look at the second part of the title. All right, so let's try best eco-friendly products. And so we click, click on best eco-friendly products. We see my video right here, and we see that there's 170 searches per month. And so again, we're going to click on TubeBuddy, and we're gonna click on Keyword Explorer. And now we can see the unweighted score is 28, and the weighted score is 54. Now, if we want to get some other ideas, all you have to do is reverse engineer. So if we put in eco-friendly products, you can see that the YouTube search predict comes up with a lot of other ideas. And you can see here ones that I've already highlighted. Of course, I used eco-friendly products in here as well. And then I used eco-friendly products ideas. But there's some other ones in here based on what your video is that you could possibly do. And so you just want to make sure that whichever ones you're picking has a search volume. And ideally, as a newer channel, you want a search volume of under a thousand. As you've seen, these ones that I picked here are under a thousand. So it's allowed me to rank for these. And of course, now that I have a little bit more authority and I have more views, I'm actually able to rank for some of the keywords like products, ideas that have a higher search volume. So you just keep going through this process and I did this for each of these keywords in here. I went through and clicked on, for example, let's take um, this product, the Etty Food Wrap, right? Etty food wrap and you can see here there's a drop down of different keywords that you can use and you want to pick the ones that have a search volume which is that number here that comes from keywords everywhere and you can see I used both of these within that particular video and you just keep rinsing and repeating until you've built a group of tags that are specific to your video. Every single one of these tags, I mention this information uh, within the video. I also have it down here in the description. You can see here, um, you know, uh, save money going green, three super easy ways to save money going green. You want that in your title there. You want to front load which is putting the main keyword that you want to rank for in the beginning of the title. And then you also want to include uh, some information down here that will uh, include all of your tags so that the machine recognizes the relevancy between your title 
your tags and your description. So I wanna know, have you used any of these tools for keyword research? If so, what's your favorite? Also, if you have other free tools you use, what are those? Please share in the comments below. Also for daily support that you need as you grow your channel, you'll wanna join our Facebook community where you get your questions answered and connect with other YouTubers who are growing just like you. Don't take my word for it. Check out some of the testimonials from other channels in the Creators Accelerate group by going to the testimonial playlist that I've linked in the cards right above here or down in the description below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up or hey, even a thumbs down if you didn't like the video and give your feedback or questions in the comments below so that we can connect and grow together. My passion is to help creators just like you learn from my mistakes as well as the training and mentorship that I've received from some of the top influencers so that you too can accelerate your YouTube channel. So let's connect and remember, you are just one video away. That's it for today and I'll see you in the next video.